Hello guys, what is up? It's McGuy here, and today we have the part 6 of the zombie fighter game. Um, so, we have a pretty nice game so far. Today we're going to be adding some ammo packs. Um, and yeah, so this is what we have so far. It's a pretty sweet game, I could say. Click the green flag just to get it started. You can see that we have a press anywhere to play button. We press here, and the zombies start coming to us. Bottom right, there's a score space to shoot as you can see it works like that yeah okay so it works pretty smoothly and then we die let's say we have one life left and then we die and you have a final score and also that score shows okay so what we're going to be adding today is the ammo packs as i said but before we do any of that kind of coding i want you guys to see my sprite too um which is the live sprite the code because I did change a bunch of things and I can actually delete this and put this here but I want you guys to just copy this because it wasn't working and it was showing on the main screen so I had to fix some things by myself to do this and I didn't do that in a tutorial so if you guys aren't updated with this then go ahead and just do that so the next thing we want to do is add our ammo pack so click paint new sprite zoom in somewhat close and then go into a gray circle and press shift to get a circle um, and go like that. Then center it, obviously. Get your black uh, pen out. We're gonna be drawing some ammo packs. So before we do that, oops, we're gonna wanna go like that. And then simply draw a rectangle just like that okay once we've done that then you want to go to the center draw press shift go to the very end do four of those this is going to recreate the art of an ammo pack so then you know it's ammo um then go ahead and use a dark red and then just draw some it's not too important but just draw some cones on top of the boxes so that it does look like ammo and doesn't look like anything else. We're also going to bring text of ammo over it so that um, it is very clear to the player what it actually is because this is not my best art. <laughs> and then go into your paint bucket, choose the darkest gray, not black, the darkest gray. Yes and simply get the text tool. Get out, um, let's use a dark turquoise. I'm gonna write AMO. Put in all caps. And I don't know if it sticks out too much. We want something that sticks out. There we go. Okay, so bright blue, I guess. And there we go. Put it in the center of thing. And there we have our ammo pack. So shrink it down just a bit. So it's the size, whoops. Okay. And then go to flag, go to looks, say set size to, want it to be a little bit less size. Let's do 50. Let's see, that looks pretty good, but you can't really see the text. So let's just say 60. So we're gonna do that for now. And then go into control, grab an ill if else, grab another forever, put it around the if else, and then say, go to operators, choose the equal diamond block, and then say, if your variable game screen equals game, then you're gonna run your code. Oops. Otherwise, you don't want to uh, run your game and you want to actually hide your costume and everything that's doing. So if game screen equals game, then pick random, then go, go to, uh, let's see, oh yeah, wait. So we want to wait and then put the pick random there. Let's say every 12 to... 30 seconds um, I'm gonna create clone of myself this should be pretty easy coding when I start as clone go to a random position so go to motion press go to 
and then choose random position. This is a new feature that they've added in the newest t Scratch 2.0. Guys, a lot of you guys have been asking, my Scratch isn't working, I don't see the more blocks or data, stuff like that. The reason is because you guys are using Scratch 1.4. If you're using the correct Scratch, it should look a lot like mine. So make sure you're using Scratch 2.0 and go to scratch.mit.eu to go into Scratch 2.0. But anyways, on to the rest of the tutorial. When I start as clone, go to random position, and then um, uh, if forever if touch, touching... Forever, if touching spy, then simply go into data, make a variable. Let's call it ammo. Um, then say change ammo by, let's say this has 50 ammo. That's quite a lot. And then at the very start, you want to set ammo to 100. So change ammo by 50. And yeah. Um, also, we want to delete this clone if it's touching the spy, so delete this clone. Okay, so now we have to incorporate the ammo into the rest of our game. So in our bullet, if key space is pressed, change ammo by negative one. So this will subtract one ammo, which makes sense. And then basically, um, and basically what you want to do is, uh, only if ammo is greater than zero or actually greater than one so put ammo there only if ammo is greater than one let's clean this up then change ammo negative one so obviously our ammo looks really messy right now we'll change that later but if you click press anywhere to play we just lost a life uh you can see that i shot twice so my ammo goes down shot another two times this is working pretty well actually so we got on the first try and you can see that the zombies, I like their walking animation. I'm glad that we added that. And yeah, okay. So our ammo seems to be working, but what happens when you get to zero ammo? That's the question. That is the question. Okay, so we're at, we're about to hit 30 ammo. I'm just spamming down the space. Uh, go to one. And, oh, okay. So we want this to actually be if ammo is greater than zero. Okay, so final score is 11. Score is 11. Here, um, what we wanna do is when game is over, hide variable um, uh, show ammo. Let's see, hide variable, um, it should be called show score. Let's see, join score, that's what it is. But then in our spy, if game screen equals game, you can say show variable, um, show variable join score. Okay, so um, then we're gonna make a new for it variable. It's gonna be called join ammo, and we're gonna uh, hide variable um, ammo when we start, and then if uh, let's duplicate this. Okay, so if um, if game screen is equal to game, we're gonna show join ammo, um, else we're gonna uh, set, we're gonna hide join ammo. Okay, so now that we have that code down, uh, you can see that it's gonna work, but the join score isn't actually equal to anything. So we're gonna set join ammo to go to operators, uh, get the join block, hence the name, and then go into your data once again, pull out the ammo, wherever that is, there we go, join, um, and we're gonna do what we did for the score, kinda go like that. So now it should work, whoops, so if hide variable, join, okay, this should be hide, whoops. Where's the join score? There we go, okay, so, now we start here. Um, hide variable join score. Okay, there, I hope it works now. Okay, press anywhere to play. I wanna go like that, sorry about that. There we go, we just lost two lives. Not very good. 
Let's see if the ammo packs show. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. Okay, final score show. Let's see, join score and then there's score and then there's final score. Okay, so when game is over, we wanna show. There we go. Hide variable, join score. Okay, so now if we press, you can see we have ammos. Besides that, I wanna see if the ammo packs, the ammo packs aren't gonna spawn, but I wanna see if the end screen works. Okay, we have one life left, and then we're done. Okay, so then in uh, ammo, we're gonna say uh, else hide. We're gonna have to show when we start, and as well hide here and then show there okay so let's see if the spy works sorry it's a bit loud you guys it's just my computer um i don't know it won't let me record and do something else okay so let's see if they spawn oh there we just got one now we have 142 ammo so it works pretty well um i like it and it seemed pretty quick. We saw it go and we saw it hide. I think one should be coming up pretty soon here. Uh, plus one. We gain another score. I don't seem to see another ammo pack. Oh, maybe because I said it's at 30 seconds. Oh, there, look, it's in the bottom right. Okay, so let's collect this ammo. Now 174. So the game actually works really well. And you can see that um, we're collecting our score and everything is working pretty good. So thank you guys for watching. I think that's gonna be it for part six. You guys are asking what I use to record my videos. I use QuickTime Player, which is on Mac. And also make sure to uh, follow me on Scratch, which is A-A-R-F-A-N-F. And I've been getting a lot of follows, so that is awesome. Also, link your game if you're having difficulties in the uh, comment section below, or if you just wanna share a game, go ahead and do that. And Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.